God has a river of healing for you and for me and for all of the nations. In Revelation chapter 22, it talks about a pure river of God that is ushering out from His throne. Of course, we know that this uh, river of God is also His Holy Spirit. But as, as I began to study for this session, uh, the Lord gave me a vision. And what you see behind me is what I saw. A mighty rushing river. Not a gentle stream, not a still, still waters, but I saw a mighty rushing river that was picking up rocks and debris, branches, and was washing them on down the river. You know, this is what we need in our life. We need a mighty rushing river in our belly to come forth out of us and to get rid of all the things in our life that hinders us from our purpose and from our destiny. You know, that river that is flowing out from the heart of God and from His very throne brings us life. It brings us health. It brings all the things that God has for us. That river can bring it to us. You know, in Ezekiel 47, God sent Ezekiel the prophet uh, to the... The, it says, the, uh, the man brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water coming out from underneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the temple faced east. The water was coming down from underneath, and he brought me uh, out to the north gate, and, and, and there, you know, he, he told me to measure. You know, he told Ezekiel to measure uh, the water. And he said the water was um, up to my ankles. And then if we go on and read a little bit further, it says that it's up to his knees. And then he measures again and the water is up to his, his, uh, his loins or his thigh. And then he measures again and then the water is just overtaking him. You know, and that's what the Lord wants for his body. He wants his the body to be consumed by His Spirit, by His river of healing. That's what He desires. And it says that it was a, a river, um, that when He measured it again, it was a river that could not be crossed. And, and you had to know how to swim in this river. You know, we need to know how to walk in the Spirit of the Lord. Uh, especially in these days and in these times that we're facing, that we are led by the Spirit of God, that we let the river of God take us where He wants to take us. But today I want to focus on that healing because I believe that there's much healing that is needed in the body of Christ, both in the spirit, in the soul, and in the body. Uh, you know, we're made up of three parts. It says, then he led me back to the bank of the river, and, and he showed me that wherever this, this, this river flowed, uh, that there was life, there was healing that was brought. And of course, we know that the trees that line the river in the book of Revelation, there are trees of healing. There are those leaves are for the healing of the nations. And I believe that that's what the Lord is bringing uh, all over the world in Africa and in China, in Honduras, in Mexico, in Argentina, in, in Romania, in, in Russia. Uh, the Lord, in the United States especially, the Lord is bringing healing to the nations. If you need healing today, I want you to just begin to believe the Lord for whatever healing you might need. It might be a broken heart uh, from a broken relationship. It might be healing in your finances uh, that you need to pay off some, some debt and you need to uh, have finances to, to bring forth the ministry that God uh, has for you, uh, the purpose that He has for you. And it says... Uh, in the very last, uh, one of the very last verses, their fruit, or the fruit of the trees, uh, serve for food and their leaves for healing. You know, the Lord has provided everything that we need. You know, more and more I have become uh, a naturalist in the sense that 
I believe that God has put things here on the this earth uh, that are that are good for us, that are healing to our bodies, that are healing to our minds. Uh, right now, I speak to those that have had turmoil uh, and anxiety uh, come upon them, even during this this period of time, uh, that you have had uh, panic attacks and your mind has been troubled, and in the and the Lord would say to you. Fear not. Fear not, for I am near. You know, in 2012, God is near. Do not fear. And I speak uh, peace to you. Perfect love casteth out fear. You know, and it's perfect love that's flowing in this river uh, behind me. If you can just see it, if you can just uh, visualize that river out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. That's what it says in the book of, of John, I believe it's chapter 7. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. And it's this kind of river, this kind of river that will destroy the evil uh, and the debris and the junk and the garbage that has been, um, the enemy has tried to bring to you and put it inside of you so that you cannot operate uh, with the anointing and you cannot operate with the power of God unless there is a cleansing uh, in, your, in your spirit and a cleansing in your mind, a cleansing in your body. This is the time for that river to come and bring healing into your life. And right now I speak healing uh, into your into your bladder. I speak healing into your lungs. I speak that river to come and just wash away any uh, type of, of uh, blood disorder, any type of heart disease. I commend that river to come and, and pick up that anger and unforgiveness and pride and wash it away uh, in the name of Jesus. I speak over you today peace. I speak over you today prosperity. I speak over you today that you have a settling in your spirit that you know that you know that you know uh, that God is near and you're not going to fear anymore. Let this river of healing just come into your lives. You know, read about it. Study about it. You know, make sure that I'm in the book. You know, because I want you to prosper. In 2012, God is near, do not fear. And let that river of healing come into your family, come into your children, come into the congregations. I speak uh, that every uh, piece that needs to be put together in your life, there's some that you've got a puzzle piece over here and a puzzle piece over there and... and and God's going to put that together. He's going to put the picture together for you. Uh, even as we're speaking, uh, the Lord is revealing to you what the big picture is. And we thank Him for that. Amen. We thank Him for the river of life that is flowing just for you and just for me. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you for viewing. Jesus.